Howdy y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of Lupos. This was actually an add-on to a Kickstarter I did. And as far as I understand, this could be, is supposed to be the Kickstarter edition of Lupos. Looked like something I was interested in, so decided to check it out. As you can see here, looks kind of basic, but reading the whole little thing on here, it says that you're basically going to be moving around trying to summon all the wolf spirits for the pack. It is a cooperative adventure game. It says it has adjustable difficulty. It says it's a game for one to five players. For ages seven plus, take about 30 minutes to play. Let's take a look at what's inside of this. Only thing I'm worried about is it does look like it's a bunch of cardboard chits that'll go inside of a bag. And that gets kind of annoying just because eventually the chits kind of get faded out or scratches off art and stuff like that. But it's a game uh, that we could play on our board game nights at the shop. Then we'll see what it's about. All right. As you can see here, it's got the different rule books in different languages. Oh, okay, there's other sides. I was about to say, I don't see one in English. There we go. So, yep, as you can see, German, and then we got the English here. Got the setup. Playing the game is one, two, three, four. Really? Looks like a pretty basic game, four pages, and then how to change the difficulty levels. All right. Well, we got some cardboard here. Sorry, it felt like it was separate. Oh, it, I see how it does. So what I understand, well, actually that looks wintry. That's kind of cool, but yep. So we got these tiles here. I guess it doesn't matter how they're really looked at. So it does look like this is going to be a lot of like cardboard, which I would love to replace with plastic, but it does not look like this is one that will easily be able to do as there are symbols and stuff all over it. Guess I should have tried on that punch board, but this is supposed to be, I think what I, what I saw of it, like this is going to be like a little spot where you will set the spirits on here as you find the spirit wolves. To put the, the summon the alpha, Lupos. Oh. I'm sure there's a bunch of history to this that I just don't know about yet. but Or like a story, I should say, really. Does look like it's got a cardboard thing, though, that needs to be built. Um, my only issue with stuff like this is hopefully it's something that can be built that can go inside the box without having to take it apart every single time. Kind of like Paleo. Uh, I enjoy playing Paleo, but I don't want to have to sit there and build that thing every single time. So it's a lot easier just to put it down on the table. But as you can see, lots of colorful, beautiful artwork. I'll give it that. And then we have a ton of chits. From what I understand, these are going to be the wolves. And they'll be moving around on the board. It's all about getting them on the certain spots in order to, as you're pulling like movement tiles somehow out of the bag and moving them to certain spots to get the spirit wolves summoned, basically. Uh, instead of a board board, it does look like, and I kind of saw this on the back, but it does look like it's a just segmented board that you're just going to put together. I was thinking, well, maybe that means that you can have a variety, like a randomness on the board, but I think it's just, no, it's just a segmented board that you just put together. So, hence... But yep, looks like it's going to have four segments to it just by looking at that. Yep, and here's the other segments. So it does look like a basic and easy game. 
and then a baggie. That's it. <laughs> Our two baggies. I'm assuming one for one of the tiles and one for the movement thing it was talking about. So there's not really much on this unboxing, apparently, except for what's on there. I mean, there is this divider. And then looks like some plastic for the standees. So really, most of it all seems to be on uh, this right here. So yeah, not a lot of stuff here. So not much here on the unboxing. But since it is a soloable game, I should be able to see if I can't get it on the table. For sure, I can get it on the table at the shop, but I can't, I'll see if I can't put a video together of me just playing it solo. So we can just kind of see some of the stuff, but yep. Quick and easy unboxing. Thank you for watching and have a great day.